Bryant here from Tracks in the Box. Most of the time on this channel, we're going to look at software to make good tracks sound great. But sometimes you got a bad piece of audio to start with, and before you can work on making it sound great, you got to make it not sound horrible. Now recently, we've looked at Defilter by Akon Digital, which fixes things like resonances and comb filtering. And today we've got another excellent product from Akon called Restoration Suite. It consists of four different plugins to tackle specific audio problems. Denoise, Dehum, Declick, and Declip. For these examples, I generated these files specifically for this demo because I wanted really exaggerated examples that could show you what these plugins could do. All right, let's take a look at the first plugin. Okay, I've got this acoustic guitar track here and it's got a ton of hiss on it. Let's listen to it real quick. No good, but let's see what Denoise can do with it. Now there's a few different ways you can use Denoise here. One is Learn from Noise. You select that option here if you've got some isolated noise. Let me loop that real quick. And you let the noise play. After you let the noise play for a few seconds, you click on Freeze Noise Profile, and it will remember what the noise is and remove only that from the audio, leaving the rest of it intact. So let's just let it go. Once this yellow line has stopped moving, it's learned the noise. Okay. And we are getting just a few artifacts here. is cutting into the guitar a little bit. Uh, there's a couple ways you can deal with this. First of all, the uh, maximum reduction doesn't need to be at negative 48 dB. Now there's still a little noise creeping in around the transient, so I'm going to adjust the attack and release a little. This was without. And with. Now another option you have is adaptive noise reduction. Let me reset this real quick. Now this is for when you don't have any isolated noise or when you have noise that changes over time. Now I'm going to let this play back and it's going to look at the entire signal and try to determine what is noise and what's the good audio and try and remove just the noise. Again, I'm going to bring the release down a little. Now a little bit of the guitar is getting lost here. And as we saw, you can bring up the attenuation, and that helps. Or you can bring the reduction down, which also helps, but it also lets more of the noise start to creep through. Now there's a third way you can deal with this, and that's with the emphasis filter. You enable that here. And it's basically like a parametric EQ that you use to adjust where the filter focuses on the noise. So I'm just going to bring it down, down here where the guitar is. Beautiful. Now here I've got a piano track with some hum on it. Um, you're never going to run into hum this bad in real life, but let's see what dehum can do with it anyway. Here's what it sounds like. Nice sound. 
sounding piano, not so nice sounding hum. Let me throw the hum on here. Now with electrical interference like this is, the frequency you're going to want to set this on depends on the country you're in. In the U.S. it's 60 Hz. So I'll go ahead and set it to that. The rest of these controls are sensitivity, which is exactly what it sounds like. It just adjusts how sensitive it is to the hum. Sometimes it will fluctuate a little bit from the bass frequency, which is what adaptivity is for. You just adjust this so that it will track that fluctuation. In this case, uh, we're not going to need it, I don't believe. In addition to the bass frequency of the hum, you'll also have a number of harmonics above it, uh, which contribute to the hum, and you just increase this control until all of the hum is gone. And let's listen to it work. This is without. And that's with. It's like magic. For this example, I've got a string quartet with some vinyl clicks and crackles. So let's listen to that. And let's see what D-click can do with it. Now you've got two sections here. You've got D-clicker and D-crackler. In the D-clicker you've got a button to enable it. You've got detect digital dropouts when enabled will attempt to find uh, parts that are missing from a corrupted audio file and fix those. Then you've got sensitivity for the clicks and you've got click length which is the maximum length of the clicks in milliseconds. For the D-crackler, you've got a button to enable it, crackle sensitivity here, and you've got crackle reduction, which just sets the amount of reduction taking place. Now for this particular tool, the listen to remove signal button can come in really handy to make sure you're not eating into the music that you want to preserve. So let's see what we can do with it. I'm going to do it one section at a time. And these displays here show you exactly how much is being reduced by each section. I'm going to engage this just to make sure I'm not cutting into the music. Sounds like we're getting into the string territory there. This is before. And after. Let's see if we can do a little bit more with D Crackler. Again, this was before. It makes a huge difference with just a few tweaks. For this example, I've got a piano that was recorded a bit hot, and there's some clipping taking place. And I've expanded the waveform here so you can see that this is just totally clipped off flat. Let's see what that sounds like. You can hear that crispy, crackling, clipping going on there. And let's see what D-Clip can do with it. Now this plugin couldn't be simpler. You've just got threshold controls here. All you need to do is look at this waveform display, which will show you exactly where the clipping is occurring, and set this threshold above it. And then the plugin resynthesizes the missing parts, and it does an amazing job of it. See, you can see here where the clipping is happening. Let's listen to it again.
listen to it again without D-Clip. Pretty remarkable, and it couldn't be simpler. Like all the other things in the Akon restoration suite, with just a few tweaks and a few controls, you can fix some pretty serious issues with your audio. I couldn't recommend it highly enough.